It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Hello, I'm Mike Kerner, in for Gary Shorman this week on the forum, brought to you by Hayes Med. And with me today is Dr. Mohammed Riazi. I'm just going to go with Riazi, and that's what they that's told me what, to call you. Exactly. That's that's more comfortable. Some people probably that's call you Doc, too. <laughs> well, some people. Not, not right. He's a mathematics <laughs> professor at Fort Hayes State University, and we're going to talk to you a little bit in the second half of the show about a cool thing that you've got going on. It's called the... Um, uh, let's see if we can find that here again. Mathematics Stack Exchange. That's correct. So we'll get to that in the second half of the show. But in the first half of the show, what I want to ask you a little bit about is kind of your life. Uh, you are uh, a teacher at Fort Hayes State University. Right. How long have you been at Fort Hayes State University? Uh, this is my 34th year at Fort Hayes State. Think of all the students that have gone through. I uh, have many, this. right. Many of my students are department chairs now. Oh, wow. Uh, the most... Uh, interesting part is that one of my students is my dentist and he wasn't a very good student in college algebra so anytime I go there I don't know if is the pain actually natural pain or yeah, revenge. Right? I probably keep my mouth shut too I don't know what, <laughs> what, what might happen so well I guess you can't at the dentist office. Right. So um, let's talk about a little bit uh, you uh, you were uh, born and grew up in, Ar in Iran. Exactly right I came to the United States when I was 35 years old and I had to start all over again. And over there I was a professor having a house and cars and everything. And I had to leave everything behind. So were and you, did you, did you receive a lot of your math instruction in Iran and then were a teacher there or did you get in the States and go back there? I had a master's degree and uh, I had a little bit over a master. So uh, it was an institution actually, if you know Bertrand Russell, Bertrand Russell was the professor of my advisor in Iran. Oh, wow. So he was extremely good in logic and the foundation was very strong. And then all that turmoil that happened in the late 70s, you were there and that was kind of a scary time for, for a person to live in Iran. It was very, very scary when I found that soldiers are randomly shooting at students. I figured out that it's time to, to leave. So I, I took my family and is, was it tough to get out during those times? It was very tough to get out. First of all, you couldn't sell anything and you couldn't take any money with you. So, and of course, the government shouldn't know that you are leaving and you're not coming back. So, it was tough. It was tough. So, you had to start over. So, you were doing well in Iran and then you had to start over in the United States. Now, how mm -hmm. did you get from Iran? How did it wind up? You ended up in Michigan. Well, I applied for a PhD and uh, I received the invitation that, yes, come on. So I came as a student on F1 visa, and then after finishing my PhD, I got letters from Fort Hayes State that I can work here, so I came here. So your wife and your children came with you, and, uh, exactly, and right. uh, are, are they all mathematicians too? Uh, well, my kids are very good in math. Now, actually, one of them is an accountant at Kansas City. One of them is an actuary in Plano, Texas. The other one is the director of research at NYU. So a lot of them stayed in the, stayed in the math game. They're all dealing with math, right? They're making, making money from math. That, I and, I, and I think people can. And you've seen a lot of your students over the years uh, do very well. And, and math is one of those really good core very classes strong. to have. Right. We send students. Actually, we have students that come to camps at Fort Hayes mm -hmm. State. You heard about mm -hmm. that. and. Uh, finish high school, right away go to graduate school. And so they don't have to do the four year of undergraduate at all. Yeah. So you've been in the United States and, and, and boy, you've been in, in, Fort Fort Hay in Fort Hayes, in Hayes, Kansas. You've been here for quite a long time too. 34 years in Hayes, Kansas and six years in Michigan. So a total of 40 years. Wow. 40 good years, right. So I don't miss any part of it. <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to do in the first half of the show, just kind of get a background, uh, your background and, and mm -hmm. all of your life experiences. And, and you, you sure have had some good life experiences and, oh, yes, and some, sure. some, some hard roads to go down too. Exactly. So right. in the second half of the show, we're going to talk about this, uh, this cool program that you're doing right now here at Fort Hayes State University. It's a mathematics stack exchange. And it's not just Fort Hayes. It's, it's worldwide. It's worldwide, it? 171 countries. And we'll get to that here in the second right. half the show and to find that a little bit. Right. Again, uh, we've got the uh, forum going for you right now. I'm Mike Kerner in for Gary Shorman this week. And again, our guest is Dr. Riazi, and we want to thank you for joining us. We'll be back in a moment. 
Hayes Med is your first and best choice for health care. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci Robotic Surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy. Eagle Communications is your ultimate business partner. We provide business class phone with customizable features and fast, reliable internet. Your knowledgeable team at Technology Solutions has a broad base of IT services to meet your needs. Let the experts at Marketing Solutions get your message to the right people on the best platforms. The only piece missing is your business. Call Eagle Communications today at 877-61-EAGLE. Welcome back to the forum. I'm Mike Kerner in for Gary Shorman. And again, this uh, show this week brought to you by Hayes Med. I want to tell you that Gary would love it if you've got show ideas. Just email him at gary.shorman at eagle.com.net. And our guest this week is Dr. Mohammed Riazi. And I want to thank you for joining us at thank the you. math department at Fort Hayes. And you've been there quite a while. Now tell me about this program. It's a mathematics stack exchange. When you say that, I think of stock exchange. Right, but this right, is right. Stack, stack right, stack exchange. What, what's this program all about? Well, it is a program that uh, has 171 countries and more than 500,000 members. They're mathematicians from all levels. So Were you one of the founding be, members of this? I was not. No, okay. Right. I just started this uh, spring break and uh, I was the chair of mathematics department for eight years, so I didn't have any time, any time <laughs> off. I had to be there 24-7. No, sure. But uh, now I'm not the chair, so I had some free time. And on spring break, I had a question, mathematical question, that um, I didn't know where to go and ask it. So I went on internet and uh, found this site. So I posted my question. Right away, comments and answers start pouring in. So I was excited about it, and I joined the group, and then started solving problems. So, so problems people have, if they have problems, they come to you, you come to them? Exactly, That's right. They, they post it. I can post problems, they can post problems, everyone who is a member. If you have like 3,000 points or more, you can actually comment on the problems. And uh, if you have like 15,000 or more, you can vote, upvote or downvote people, the people's solution, you can delete or you can audit solution, depending on how many points you have. There's probably a lot of high school kids out there who would love to get their hands on that website. Well, it's recommend, right. It's recommended <laughs> that don't do their homeworks for them. Just give them enough hint mm. so they can go on the right, on the right track. There's probably some really smart people on this website solving some really big, tough problems. There are unsolved problems. There are overall, so far, around 9 million questions on that one. And uh, lots of them are still unsolved. So. If you are really high, high at the top, you go there and try one of those problems. So are a lot of your students going in there and, and helping other people out? And, they and, don't. And they, they don't? No, they don't. They like, don't. I encourage them to go. One student joined so far, and he was disappointed because he couldn't get any points. You have to get enough points. Every problem, every solution which is accepted, you get 10 points. And uh, people have the right to upvote or downvote on your solutions. So if you upvote it, you get extra positive points. If they downvote it, you get negative points. And the total points are reputation points. So based on your reputation, people basically look at your solutions and see if they are acceptable or not. Well, rumor has it that you are doing pretty good personally on there, number one ranked in the world uh, I did for a right. while there. I did, right. I did for one week. Actually, then it happened like more than one week. and. I have one of the pages here if you want to actually okay. look at them. We can scan and it here and show it up on screen. Right, 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 right. So that's so. Uh, that's one of your... your. Uh... That's one week that I was basically first in the world. And as you check, like uh, here we have the, th the third person is from Portugal. And somewhere along the line, like this guy from Cambridge mm -hmm. is about 14 or 15 
person there. So to get number so, one, did, was it a really complex problem that you had to I solve? I won't do this. Do, no, I won't do that again. <laughs> 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 it basically takes a whole week of no sleep. Wow. Because you have continuously, you have to solve problems. It's a competition. It's a worldwide competition. So I won't do that again to myself. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> but maybe I enjoyed it. Maybe in the retirement years when you're bored. Exactly right. Right. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing this a little bit with us. And uh, and and how many people are involved in this worldwide? Five hundred thousand. I am actually a member. Five hundred. Uh, I don't know. One hundred. What but, is it? But Over five hundred thousand. Right. Wow. Five hundred twelve thousand. Something like that. And it that. just keeps growing. It keeps growing. Right. Because Very good. people join. Right. People join and enjoy it. It's addictive, so <laughs> not recommended for no, not mathematicians. It's kind of like video games, but for different people. Well, right. thank you very much for joining us and enlightening uh, a little bit more about math and what's going on in the world of math. And, and there's so many people out there that are solving things in places we don't even know about in exactly. the back end. <laughs> and it's kind of interesting that you say that, that there's a lot of people out there, a lot of problems out there that are going unsolved, and, and people are trying to work, sleep, do it, work sleepless <laughs> nights doing that and solving Exactly, that. right, right. Math is a big thing. All over the world. Yes, right. it is. Well, very good. Yeah. Thanks for coming in and sharing your life with us a little bit. It's Thank Dr. You. Riazzi from Fort Hayes State University, our guest today. I'm Mike Kerner in for Gary Shorman on the forum, brought to you by Hayes Med. Thanks for joining us.